everyone and welcome to Auto Revs back again. I hope you guys are doing well. So guys, in this video, I am going to give you guys a walk around of this car, which is the Maruti Suzuki Swift. Now this happens to be the VDI variant, and as you can see, this is exactly how the car actually looks like in terms of design, in terms of looks. It definitely looks quite a lot sporty from before. And here, as you can see, those alloy wheels also do look quite nice. Now in the VDI variant, you have uh, steel rims, but this car has been additionally fitted with alloys this is the front profile of the car here you have this massive grille sort of a design with suzuki badge right in the center so that's about the front profile of the car talking about the headlamps here you do miss out on projector headlamp setup those are normal halogen bulbs and below here you also do get fog lamps so that is a good thing that you do get fog lamps in the vdi variant now let me quickly show you guys the tire profile so as I mentioned earlier that in the VDI variant you have steel rims but this car is upgraded with the alloys and the tire profile happens to be 165 ATR14 DDS badge right over here on the mirrors also you do get turn indicators so that is again a good thing the car actually looks quite a lot sporty and talking about the rear tire profile the size is kind of similar 165 ATR14 those are alloy wheels provided and here as you can see this is the type of door handle which we used to see on the Chevrolet Beat and it looks pretty nice I would say so that's about the side profile now this is how the car actually looks like from the rear here you do get your reverse parking sensors which will help you while parking in the tail lamps you do get LEDs and here you have your Suzuki badge switch swift badge right over here and uh, because this is not the top end variant that's the reason why you don't really get rear defogger as well as wiper in this particular variant and this is the side profile of the car the car definitely looks quite a lot attractive and sporty so as I've actually made a complete review of the ZXI plus variant so if you are interested in watching that video you can definitely check out that video by just clicking on the link given in the description box below so guys I think I have spoken a lot about the exteriors of the car now it's time to move inside and let me quickly show you guys what all features are on offer inside the car so let's quickly move inside so guys right now I am inside the cabin and this is exactly how the dashboard of the Mauti Suzuki Swift VDI variant exactly looks like. So now let's quickly talk about a few things which you have inside the cabin. So let's quickly start with the steering wheel. So here on the steering wheel as you can see the steering wheel which you get is a flat bottom steering wheel right over here. And on the steering wheel they have actually provided steering mounted controls for your audio so here you as you can see you have buttons for your volume as well as for your mode this obviously is a button for your mute as well and those are your buttons from which you have to actually pick up and reject the calls this is for your bluetooth connectivity so that is about the steering mounted audio controls which you get now let me quickly show the instrument cluster so here in the instrument cluster as you can see on the left actually you have your tachometer in the center you have your MID and on the right you actually get your speedometer in the MID it will definitely show you a lot of information like your trip as well as your average fuel consumption distance to empty etc and obviously also your odometer reading as well and as you can see this uh, treatment over here looks definitely quite nice and the dashboard is actually quite an attractive looking dashboard the design of the dashboard is really very nice obviously this button is for your hazard lamp and uh, because this is not the top end variant this happens to be the VDI variant this is the system which you get in the VDI uh, variant obviously it does get uh, the bluetooth connectivity as well as your USB as well as aux those are your controls for your air conditioning below this you, here you have your two cup holders as well as some space to keep your wallet this is obviously for your 12 volt charging point from here you can actually connect your usb as well as aux so that is about it and this is your 5 speed manual gearbox guys i've actually already made a complete review of the maoti suzuki 
Swift VXI or the ZXI variant I'll definitely give the link for the same in the description box below so you can check that video out as well and also below the handbrake here you actually get some space where you can keep your stuff so that is again a nice thing now let's quickly look at the glove box so here as you can see this is the amount of space which you get inside the glove box and it is a decent size one I would say here they have actually kept the owner's manual as well as the first aid kit so that is about it now talking about the safety features in this particular car you have dual airbags ABS EBD as well as brake assist and in the door pads here as you can see here you have your power window switches this is for your lock and unlock of your door from here you can actually adjust your ORVMs and in terms of practicality as you can see here you have your bottle holder as well as some space to keep your stuff so that is about it here again you have your headlight leveler so that is about it and talking about the vanity mirror let's quickly check so here as you can see here you do have vanity mirror in the sun visor and here on the driver side actually you get a toll receipt holder vanity mirror is not really present right over here so that is about it those are obviously your controls for your light so this is exactly how the dashboard of the Mauti Suzuki Swift actually looks like the quality inside the dashboard is good I would say and the good part is the fact that the design of the dashboard it is pretty much attractive so that is a good thing about the dashboard of the Swift it looks quite sporty because of this all black theme which they have used, in, used inside the cabin so guys now let me quickly move on to the rear seats and let me really show how much space is on offer in the second row so let's quickly move behind so guys right now I'm in the second row of the Mauti Suzuki Swift and as you can see this is the amount of space which is on offer in the second row of the Swift in terms of legroom it is a pretty good car to be in because you can stretch your feet below the driver as well as co-driver seat and talking about the knee room the knee room is kind of adequate in terms of under thigh support it definitely could have been a little bit more better and the headroom is again good now here as you can see here you do get a bottle holder or a cup holder in the center and there is a hump present right over here so that is something which you need to know talking about the shoulder room you can easily get two adults and a kid in the middle so that definitely can be a kind of a squeeze and this seat is actually 60 40 split so that is again something which might increase the luggage carrying capacity of the car and here you do get two headrest which are kind of adjustable so that is about the second row space which is on offer here you do get a handle to hold on to other than the driver's side on each and every side you do get handles to hold on to and in the door pads here as you can see here you have button for your power window and here there is only a bottle holder which is present so that is about the space and practicality spaces which you have in the second row so that's about it so guys now let me quickly show you guys the boot space which is on offer in the swift so let let's quickly move outside and let me quickly show you the boot space on offer so guys this is the 268 liters of boot space which you have in the Maudi Suzuki Swift and this is the herd subwoofer which has been kept right over here and in the boot as you can see here you also do get your emergency triangle as well as tool kit and below this obviously you have your spare wheel kept but I don't really think so I'm going to pick it up all the way so yeah that's the amount of space which you do get in the boot space of the Swift so guys this was a quick walk around of the Mauti Suzuki Swift VDI variant. I hope you guys liked it. Still if you have any doubts or queries regarding the same or the other you can definitely ask it to me on my Instagram handle as well as in the comment section below and I'll be more than happy to answer most of your doubts. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then drive safe, ride safe, bye bye and if you haven't checked out our Hindi channel do check that channel out as well. I'll definitely give the link for the same in the description box below.